Okay, hi everyone. I hope that you all are doing great. And yes, today we are going to learn something about the soil. And of course, we are going to just learn about the types of the soil. So here you meet your Shushmita ma'am. And yes, let me just tell you that along with me, you're going to get some more dedicated and amazing teacher right here on the platform of Oda class. So here you're going to get the innovative live interaction app. And in this case, you will be just presumed of like what exactly we are going to get in the ODA class. So let me tell you and let me just show you that if you are here, you are going to get the amazing course that's going to be the bridge course. And in this course, you would be having lot many features. And among these features, they're going to be the duration of one week. And in that one week, you will be getting three sessions of mass and three sessions of science now isn't that that wonderful if you get extra sessions of english that would be and along with this when you just come across the amazing thing that you are gonna get on this platform that's going to be the personal teacher now we are going to provide you the personal teacher the personal mentor who is going to mentor you for the entire session exactly they are going to just help you out whether it be academic or non-scholastic so they are going to help you a lot and they are going to consult you so if you are having any kind of problem do share and we are going to solve it and we are going to just help you out that how better you can do it now along with this we're going to provide you set of homeworks that would be very very important and you even can just reply it back on the app itself along with this definitely you're going to get the entire pdf material so the study material also you will be getting which is very very important for you and along with this you're gonna test right so you go and test like yourself only and there would be subjective test objective test and of course how you're gonna get this so you can just get this by clicking on this code now this has been given in the description box so you go to this link tap on this and be the part of this entire oda class so you're gonna be into the oda family and when you look into the price you will be amazed of that that is not 499 that is just 49 and in this 49 rupees you're gonna get all these amazing features so yes why to do let during this time only in this meantime go and get the app on your platform and just be there with us now yes of course you're you're meeting shishmita singh and yes i have graduated from r-i-n-c-e-r-t also i've done my masters and tried to bag the silver medal so of course you all can trust me and we can have a session on the types of soil now if you look into this, of course, you will be amazed of that. Yes, what exactly is going to be there? Now in this, you will find that there are different, different kinds of soil. Now, what is the significance of this soil? What are the differences among the soil? So when you look into the each of them, you will find that, yes, there's going to be difference between the particles. When you look into the particles of the soil, you will find a great difference. So let me just show you what are the differences referring for the first one that is the clay particles now this clay soil is going to contain the clay particles now on the basis of the different sizes we are going to categorize it and when we categorize this the smallest rock particles they are going to be the clay particles now referring for the next one the rock particles which are larger than the clay so clay particles are very 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 tiny better than that like if you see look into the particles broader than that bigger than that you will find in the split one and then we have the rock particles that are larger even than the split one so in this case you will get the sand particles and when the one you're going to find out the largest particle that is going to be of the gravel so you have found that there are going to be different different kinds of particles and that makes the soil that is going to make the soil now if you look into this the closure look into the types of the soil so in case of the sandy soil you will find that the particles these particles are going to be 
bit bigger as compared to the next one in case of this one in case of the silt one you will find that it is having the particles which are as compared smaller particles than the sandy one and when you look into the clay one you will find that they are much 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 steeper much 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 smaller than the other two now here it gives the basic differences between the all now having a closer look on the different types of soil we have the first one that is going to be the sandy soil now sandy soil what is sandy soil which contains the sand if you look into the main composition you will find that that is going to be purely sand and very less amount of silt and clay are present there because soil is what it is basically a mixture right so there are going to be little bit particles of the other kind of soil also but majorly you're going to find the clay right now they have majority of uses you must have seen that even in the construction we use the sand in a very huge amount so they are going to not hold much of the water they have the highest percolation rate of the water so what is going to be the percolation rate right so if you keep the sand and you try just penetrating the water you will find that almost majority amount of water must have penetrated down so percolation rate when you look into the percolation rate right it is going to be highest in the case of the sandy soil it is going to allow the passage of the water in a greater amount as compared to the other kind of soil now where is it found very easy to say it is going to be found in the desert and the sea show right going to the beaches and all you must be very very fond of the beaches so what are you going to get there you're going to get the sandy soil and also in the desert what do you get the sand that's going to be the sandy soil now when we look into the other one we do have the clay soil now in case of the clay soil we have the main composition that's going to be the clay now when you look into the amount now here you're going to find very less amount of the silt and the sand present in it majorly you're going to find the clay particles which is going to be very very tiny particles now of course what are going to be the characteristic features of the clay soil so here in this case it has a good water holding capacity now what is water holding capacity the ability to hold the water suppose you are pouring the water and we have the clay soil so it is going to hold the water very precisely and that would be in a majority amount so they have a very good water holding capacity it is not going to allow or percolate the water down deep so it is already going to hold that as compared to the sand bar and then it is going to have very less percolation rate because we have seen that in case of the sand the percolation rate was high whereas in case of the clay it is going to be quite low right so it is just inversely proportional to each of them right so you have got one major characteristic here itself now of course where we going to use this yes you must be in love of the pot so what is pot made up of pot is made up of the clay now it is used in making the sculptures like ancient sculptures from where we have got those from the clay soil and now also many of the people are just following up with that and utilizing the clay in making of the sculptures used in making of the bricks and of course in the pottery making many of you must be having the hobby of making the pots and all and yes you should do that now of course the third one that is going to be the loamy soil now what's there in the case of the loamy soil that is basically the mixture of all kind of soil if you look into the proportion you will find that there is equal proportion of sand clay and silt and then even going to be that there is going to be the some particles of the humus now when you look into the humus you will find that yes it is going to be organically rich it is going to allow some of the you can see whether it be plants or germination of the plants it is going to take very greatly in this case of the loamy soil so loamy soil is very very good for the agricultural purposes or planting purposes now it has adequate air space it will sufficient air space is going to be there which allows the water to pour inside and then hold the water and then it can transfer into the roots so that is this going to help the plants only right and then 
most fertile soil is going to be the best soil for the crop production and it is going to be known as loam and that is going to be best best to use we can see in the agricultural processes now if you look into the crops that crops which grows in the sandy soil you will find that these are the major examples we will find potato lettuce and then corn and the pepper these are the classic example where we can find that they are gonna nurture very greatly in case of the sandy soil now when we come across the next one that is going to be the clay soil we will find that there are number of vegetables there are number of crops which grows very greatly in case of the clay soil and that's going to be the sprouts then we have the broccoli then kale and then the beans so this are going to be one which grows very nurturing in case of this clay soil now in case of the loamy soil we do have these so examples are going to be the tomato, cucumber, carrot and the apple. So these all grow best in case of the loamy soil. And of course, if you want such more great session, so yes, we are just inviting you to the bridge course. So you can get enrolled in the bridge course. We're going to get a lot of features as such. If you get this, you're going to get the entire course for one week where you're going to get three sessions of math and three sessions of Science along with this, we're going to provide you the personal teacher, and of course, you're going to get the study material along with this competitive exams. So, would be there for that. We're going to conduct the test, and of course, you're going to get the homeworks. Now, yes, you can just click on the link given in the description box and be here right now. So, you can even win the gifts. So, yes, it's the time to learn and earn. And of course, if you have liked this session, so you can hit the like button, share it, and do subscribe to the channel. See you then in the next session. Till then, bye-bye and take care of yourself.